Hey guys, what's up? It's Uniform Warrior, and today we're going to be making the two color dragon teeth paracord bracelet. I originally saw this done by Board Paracord. I'll leave a link to that in the description if you want to check it out. But I did a few things different. Like, for instance, in mine, we use the double cow's hitch method to set it up so that way the bracelet is a little more consistent. This one has two separate colors versus his did not. Plus, a lot of people in the comments of his video were, were saying they were getting confused and that it was hard to follow. So, I wanted to make this video just to help anyone who was having trouble with it. So, first off, for this bracelet, you're gonna need about five feet of burgundy paracord, five feet of emerald green paracord, and about four feet of tan with black stripes. You're also gonna need a 15 millimeter buckle. And I sell all those on my website, uniformwarrior.com, if you wanna check it out. So the first thing you're gonna do is take your two main colors, for me, that will be the burgundy and the emerald green, and you're just gonna cut the ends of those and melt them together. Then go a little bit off that melted part and bend the cord back, making a loop. Go ahead and run those two strands down through your buckle. Until you get to the point where it's about the length of your wrist with the buckle included, obviously, and you just want the buckle to overlap the cord just a little bit. And you're gonna wanna start the double cow's hitch, so if you know how to do that, I will leave the time in the description, so go ahead and click that and it will skip ahead to the pattern. So you're gonna take your back left strand and pull it up between those two middle strands and off to the left side. And then you're gonna run it up through the back of the buckle and pull it down through that loop. Then you're just gonna tighten that, making sure that the two cords are going down and not next to the buckle. Then you're gonna take your back right strand and you're gonna pull it between the two middle strands towards yourself and off to the right side. Then go ahead and pull it up through the buckle. and then down through that loop and tighten that. And then you're gonna run those two strands around and down through the other side of the buckle. Then go ahead and set it up so the buckle is touching the end of that loop and then you're going to do your double cow switch on this side. So go ahead and take that back left strand, pull it up towards yourself and off to the left side.
Then pull it up through the back of the buckle and down through that loop and tighten that. Go ahead and do the same with the right side. So go ahead and pull it through that loop towards yourself and off to the right side. Then pull it up through the back of the buckle and down through that loop and then tighten that. You just want to try this around your wrist and make sure it is the right size. The bracelet is a little bit thick, so you want to allow for a little more space than I did here. So now we're going to start with the pattern. So what you're going to do is you're going to set up your bracelet like it is here. So you have the six strands all going down. And then you're going to want to take your third cord and go under all the strands except the middle two. And you're just going to leave a little bit of space of that cord on the left side. And then you're going to take your very left strand and you're going to pull it down between the middle strands and off to the left. And then you're going to do the same to the right side, so go ahead and take that right strand and pull it around and down through that loop and off to the back. And then you're just going to tighten those two strands and then as you tighten those individually you would want to tighten that third strand but obviously there's nothing to really tighten it against so you're just going to leave it for this first one. Then you're going to make sure your two red and green strands are up and out of the way and you're going to want to wrap that third cord around the two middle strands. So you're just going to go around the back to the left, up towards yourself, around the two middle strands and off to the right. Then you're going to do the same thing with your green and red strands. So go ahead and take that green strand, wrap it around towards yourself, down through the middle strands and off to the left. And then take your right strand and wrap it around towards yourself, down through the middle strands and off to the right. And you're just going to want to tighten all three of those strands. And you're just going to continue doing that pattern. So it really is simple when you break it down in this way. So go ahead and start the next one. So take that third strand, wrap it around the two middle strands and off to the right. Then take your left strand, wrap it around the two left strands, down through the middle and off to the left. Take a red strand, wrap it around the two right strands, down through the middle and off to the right. When you pull that right strand through the middle strands, you want to make sure that it is going behind your third strand. So that's why if you just focus on pulling the red and green strands up towards the top and then doing the third strand, then it'll make sure that you keep everything in line. Just go ahead and continue doing that until you get all the way down to the end of the bracelet. Try to fit as many as you can. And when you're finishing this bracelet, you want to make sure you end with your red and green strands, not your third strand. Strand. Once you finish that, you're just going to want to clip and cinch those strands, starting with the third strand there. Whenever you're going to clip these strands and cinch them, you always want to make sure you tighten them before. Clip and singe those strands all together. For this bracelet, I clip them pretty close to the bracelet because you want to make sure they're nice and flat. 
Also, sorry this video is a little later than it's supposed to be. Lately, it's been kind of hard to keep posting twice a week. It's just hard to find more bracelets and come up with designs. So that's why I've been doing a few that I've seen on other channels. I really hope you guys don't mind that, but I'll make sure to post a few original ones every now and then. And then you're done. Anyway guys, that is the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.